Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to do just five very easy sustainable swaps that you can do in your life that are better for the environment but also you know better for your wallet. So I kind of thought that it's almost like a no-brainer. Either way it seems very evident to me some of these things so I'll share them with you because they're really easy to do. So Let's get into this. While I am going to talk about very specific products in this video, none of these are sponsored and none of the links below are affiliate codes. Just so you know. So one of the things I've noticed like becoming more of an adult is like the difference between realizing I should buy something that is more expensive upfront, but then in the long term will work out as cheaper. And I think that's been really difficult for my brain to get around. But now that it sort of slowly has, it, it, I feel like it is making a difference and it's just making me feel better as well, knowing that everything I am doing is better for the environment as well. So it's just making me feel like I'm trying. Well, sort of my favorite thing, but it's like too big to like wave you over here. I got a water filter. I know, those who know me personally will know that like, we've always had bottled water. Okay, if some people just drink from a tap, I don't know, that's fine for a lot of people, but I personally don't like the taste of tap water. This is London, you don't want to taste the taste of tap water. So a water filter is a really good option instead of buying bottled water if that's what you do, because bottled water for starters, like, it's like high key placebo. Try a taste test of like, tap water, filter water, bottled water. You'll realize that it's not worth the cost to yourself and the environment. Also, what I've realized is like, using the filter, because as you can see, it is, it's quite big and it does filter quite quickly as well. So you do realize that like, you drink a lot more water. I feel like there's no guilt involved and like a lot less effort because those water bottles are heavy. So water filters, I use the, what's it, the Brita, Brita one. It's actually a friend of mine recommended it to me and I hadn't thought about it. So I feel like that's one that might, well, be a good idea for you guys. Make me thirsty. <laughs> what a wonderful segue onto number two. I've spoken about my water bottle before. I absolutely adore it. It's from Hydrate Mate, and like it has a thingy on the back, so like it says what time you need to drink to, so that you can like stay like hydrated without like having to chug something all in one go, and then you can like steadily drink it for every day. My mother hates water. Don't ask. But like I got her like one in blue and like she's also found it a lot easier. So if you struggle to actually drink a lot of water throughout the day, one of these might be really cool. It's dumb, isn't it? It's so simple that like, you could just be quite honest, get a pen and write this on the back of your own water bottle. Uh, but it really helps in keeping us hydrated, which also I reckon is why my skin is getting so much better. But a point about water bottles is you fill them up again and again. I think this was like 12 quid. And then if you think about it, that's 12 plastic bottles of water except you keep refilling it and then if you're filling it with the wonderful water filter you also got it just you just say oh my god it's just so much better for you on the planet and also i'm much more inclined to fill this up multiple times throughout the day i like the sucky thing i feel like it makes me feel like a child but it just really floats my boat and they have it in loads of different colours as well. Um, obviously any water object will do, but this one doesn't have the, what's it, BPA plastic thing in. Pretty sure every kind of public space will have some kind of water fountain, like if you're in the library, you just go fill it up in the library a few times. That's what I do. It's like one of my like mental breaks from work is just getting up and refilling my water bottle. You will also pee multiple more times a day, but at least it's good for you, right? And along that vein, reusable coffee cups. I swear most places now will give you a discount if you go in with like a reusable one. Maybe you don't get a branded one. I feel like it's kind of weird to like walk into like Costa with this and be like, hi, but you know, it's better for the planet. I feel like this is also one that like people forget because you know those takeout coffee cups, you can't recycle them. Isn't it just the biggest lie ever? You can't actually recycle them. And loads of places will now sell their own like, ones of these. I know it's a hassle. The problem with all of these things is they're a hassle to do. I mean relative, a hassle, I say hassle but like a hassle relative to the like consumerist convenience stuff we're so incredibly used to. Like think, think about how horrible that is. We're so used to just like doing what's like the bare minimum of effort for us even though we know it's like destroying our bodies and the planet. That's dumb. That's really dumb. So the reason, like, my mum actually brought this up because, like, I try and make a point of not buying coffee out. Like, I very, very rarely do that now. Um, but if you're gone, do it. 
do this, do that, do this. Like any kind of. I'm a professional, huh? Any kind of reusable coffee cup, refillable water bottle. It's plastic, so much plastic. Like, I feel like I'm gonna re sound like a broken record in this video because I feel like it's always the same thing, isn't it? It's always plastic, it's always just like less waste. How do I do this video without being like, environment? Reusable, because recycling is actually a lot harder than you think. I've read a few things about how like, recycling isn't necessarily as good as we all like think it is it's not like it magically goes away and doesn't like create any more like pollution so maybe it's better just oh, I feel like it's almost like we think that as long as we recycle it it's fine it's like maybe we should just try not to create as much waste in the first place you get where I'm coming from next on my list that you have heard me talk about before I shall link said video up here and the menstrual cup. I have a whole dedicated video on this. My point with this is as well is, again, it's £20 to buy. Like, a lot of these cost you like, ugh. But then if you break it down over time, you realise like, oh wait, that's gonna save me loads and loads of money. Um, I did the maths, like a box of tampons is like four quid, so you make your money back with this pretty quickly. Especially because you can use them for a long time. It's, for those of you who don't know, a menstrual cup is just a reusable sanitary product for quite a few of them on the market now. It just means that you're not creating loads of waste with tampons and pads because that creates so much waste. Just think about how much you use in just one period. And I think that women are doing this all, it's a lot. It's a lot, kind of on that, slightly on that vein, is I was thinking recently about reusable nappies. Like, think about it. I read, oh my god, it was something like, a nappy takes 500 years to decompose. So basically, the first child to wear a modern nappy has, that hasn't decomposed yet. It's not probably not going to for a few hundred years. Like, that worries me, like, a lot. Um, oh, and biodegradable bin bags. Think about it. You're chucking so much stuff in the bin, some stuff that can decompose, but then you're putting it in a plastic bag. Ah, uh, so I'm doing some research just biodegradable bin bags. If I find some, I will link them down for you below. I don't have any with me, because I haven't found them yet, but I really want to just like, that is a thing I think I need to think about. You know, cloth nappies will be one I think about when I have kids. If it's good enough for the royals, I mean, then it's good enough for me. You know, it's just do the laundry. Speaking of bags, this is my... This is, I've spoken about this in a video before, I linked that up there. This is my bag that you can see is very creased because I scrunch it up and shove it at the bottom of every bag I have. I, to be honest, got this bag when I bought books. If you spend over a certain amount in the shop, they give you a bag. It's like the ultimate pretentious award if I'm completely honest with you. But I really like this bag because I've used it a billion and one times um, and it's my such a convenient bag to just have in the bottom of your bag because you can fold it up quite small as well. I know you can get ones that fold up even smaller so that might be one to think about. The other one I have as well is like an M&S one which is a lot bigger. I'll take that one with me if I'm going out specifically to buy food and then I'll tuck this one in the bottom of that one just about like because I know often one bag isn't enough and it's always like I will literally carry things so that I don't have to get another plastic bag because I find them I just we all have that drawer stuffed full of plastic bags we do, and I'm just like, I'm just trying to like get rid of it slowly but surely. Also, do you know what actually really bothers me as well? This whole bag for life thing, where you spend 5p on a bag and now you get a bag for life. I'm like, no, give me the shitty ones you did before, because like, m and this, do this. It's like, because I'm more pissed off having to pay 5p for this really stupid, shitty plastic bag for one of the bag for life ones. Just get one of these and then stop trying to give me plastic bags. Just uh, cause again, because I feel like it's more of a convenience thing, it's like, it's a lot easier to accept if you're given like a bigger one that's more sturdy, it's like, okay, I paid 5p for this, but if it's the other ones, you're just like, oh, I need to, I don't know, I feel like I make more of an effort then to avoid that situation, but also this plastic bags, you can use as bin bags. And then the other one, the bag for life ones, you kind of can't, they're a lot more difficult to use, um, so that means you then have to buy plastic bags, hence why I'm on the... Hence why I want biodegradable bin bags. I've come full circle. And then my last thing that I wanted to share with you, I've probably done more than five. I want to talk about like fast fashion. I want to do a dedicated video on this. I'll probably do that next week. Leave me your thoughts below on that actually, like the consumerist sort of thing of always buying new clothes and buying cheap clothes and buying low quality clothes again and again because of especially trends and social media, all that kind of jazz. 
leave me your thoughts here below. But mainly what I was gonna say is repair, don't replace. How much does it cost you to buy a tiny sewing kit? really not very much and to just follow a tutorial or two online of how to like fix something rather than being like oh this is fucked and throwing it away and getting something new because the more I think about it the more it really really bothers me and just here's a life tip as well if the label says viscose acrylic or polyester you are wearing plastic you're paying for glorified plastic just bear that in mind as well and that the amount of like waste that produces and then doesn't decompose either so that's really really not good so I will do a whole video on that I will link it up there if I have already done so but yeah those are just some things I thought I might share with you very quickly um, on ways that we could improve our lives our wallets and our earth because we only got one of those um, and the more I think about it the more I'm like oh yeah we're really fucking it quite badly um so these are very little things you can do which when added up do make a big difference as well i'm also like low-key enjoying the fact that there's now this like level of guilt and shame that happens when you buy a water bottle or you accidentally have to get a plastic bag like that culture is good it is a good thing so yeah those are just some that i have to suggest to you in the comments please 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 leave me any suggestions you have and swaps you have done that made your life more sustainable in every way uh, down below. I was worried I didn't finish my sentences. I will link everything and equivalents and suggestions down for you below. I will also have a video up on Thursday, which will be like, it's gonna be a little bit more existential if that is your vibe. Um, and if one about fast fashion, I will have up for you sometime next week. Um, again, any comments you have, please do leave me down below. I would love your input, really helps. So yeah, like, subscribe and all that jazz. I will see you guys very soon. Very specific. That, 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 that. I have to shut the window to film this, and it's hot.